brief we set ourselves for these signature knives was to try and design the best knife possible in the world. And this area represents um, all the research that we undertook to achieve that. We wanted to build on the history of uh, kitchen knives with Robert Welsh, the company, and take knife design to the next level. We looked at what a knife's going to be used for, whether it's going to be used for chopping or whether it's going to be used for slicing. We looked at the blade shape, whether it's going to be straight or curved, and all these considerations have to be taken into account. We looked at the tang of a knife, whether it's best to go for a half tang or a full tang. The full tang knife offers the best weight and balance, plus the strongest knife you can get for robustness. Before we started the manufacturing, we looked at the types of stainless steel we used, and uh, we looked at two types of stainless steel, or two from two countries. We looked at the German and we looked at the Japanese stainless steel. Japanese knives are very sharp, but also the metal's very hard. The German knives, um, the metal's slightly softer, and, and, but the edges are easier to bring back. So what we decided to do, really, was combine the best of both worlds, the best of the Japanese edge profile, if you like, and the, uh, the material from the German knives. Um, and that's really how we came about the uh, world edge geometry, because it literally takes two opposing sort of edge designs and combines them into one. Uh, you'll see here a single piece of stainless steel it starts off, and that is fully forged, that, uh, this knife. And you can see here it's taken from one piece of stainless steel. On some of the uh, forged knives, the actual blade is welded into the handle, um, which eventually can actually fracture or corrode. So we wanted to avoid that and give a knife that's going to last as long as possible. So here you can see what happens is they heat this middle section up here by induction, they reduce the steel, they squash the steel to create this blob of metal here, and then they forge this section here to create, which is the bolster here, which is this section on here. We looked at bolster design and whether to go for a full bolster or a half bolster. A full bolster can sometimes reduce the length of blade that's able to be sharpened, and a half bolster can sometimes reduce the control you get on the, on the knife. And we went sort of for a midway solution, which gives you the full length of uh, knife to cut with, but it also maintains the, uh, the control that you have when using the knife. And from this piece here, they then clip out the very basic shape of the knife. At this early stage, I'll point out here the holes in the handle, and this forms a very important part of it because this is where the injection moulding on the, on, the, on the plastic, these will be filled to bond the, the handle to the tang here. We get to a point where the tang is cleaned off and dressed off beautifully. You can see the changes in the, in the colour of the metal. You'll see here we get the grinding on the blade, and this forms the V basically for, for the blade itself. One millimetre from the tip is 0.25 millimetre wide, it's a very exact and very engineered product so that time and time again we get a, a world-class cutting edge. We looked at the angle, the shape and cross-section of handles, what's comfortable to hold, whether to go for a straight or a square section handle or a curved. We went for a mix of the two. Also we had to consider the centre of gravity of a blade and how it balances and holds when you're using it. We then move on to the injection moulding of, of the handle onto the tang and this is a very good example here of how you see the plastic coming through the tang and basically that bonds the handle onto the tang so it is permanent. It will not come off, there's, there's literally nothing you can do to remove the handle. The, the handle is basically cleaned off by robots so that each handle is the same. So it polishes off this material, it exposes the RW, it exposes the tang here and creates a handle that is time and time again the same. The final edge is then put on by Master Craftsman and this, this final edge is the most important one because it is the actual cutting edge itself and this edge has to be exact. Uh, 15 degrees either side and each, each knife we want to be to the highest standard possible. So we need processes and controls in place. We have those controls in where we're pulling knives out, testing them to make sure they hit that incredible high standard so that every knife purchased is and has that wonderful wow factor but also has the ability to retain its edge for a long, long time. So this whole process here, this testing, refinement, testing, refinement helped us create what we regard as one of the best edges in the world. Couple that with the handle we designed, the fully forged knife, the weight, the balance, everything else. We feel all round that it is one of the best products on the market.